to sort of lay the groundwork, the concept here is that we wanted to create flexibility in the, uh, the treasurer's ability to uh, invest in more localized deposits. Previously, our city investment policy was silent on this issue. State law allowed us to do it, but because it wasn't explicit in our investment policy, it wasn't part of the city's direction. Um, so we wanted to correct that with this resolution. And the second part is um, we wanted to increase competition uh, for the city's um, banking services. So this is separate from the initial deposits. Um, we have a three-year contract right now. We're gonna be researching best practices um, around the country for how to evaluate uh, different kinds of criteria for those banking services. Criteria like what are the lending practices of that institution? What are the community investment practices of that institution? And um, we also wanna see if there's ways that we can create um, more competition for that contract. And then the third aspect of the resolution is we aim to increase transparency around this process. With this resolution, we would uh, publish monthly on the city's website where the money is, where it is in federal securities, where it is in the various banks that we have, and at the point when we have investments in credit unions, where it is there. And this resolution also reaffirms the city's commitment to hear public input on its investment policy on an annual basis. So that's sort of flexibility, competition, and transparency, uh, the three aspects of this resolution. We have to, uh, I guess, recognize the biggest challenge facing the world is how do we build an economy that is prosperous, sustainable, and fair. And one of the little things that a city like Portland can do to show leadership, and I think this is acknowledged to be a little thing, but I think it's a little thing about a bigger thing, and I appreciate the time to speak to you today. What I do hear universally in all these business districts is folks are really supporting local, doing both business locally and banking locally. Um, we support this and thank you for your efforts. We do recognize the importance of having a conscientious and competitive process um, for entering into banking relationships. And we have um, had an opportunity to work with council staff and Jennifer Yoakum's been great about you know, hearing our input. So basically we're looking to see investments in um, banks that reflect the ethics of the city and our community members. Community banks are vital for small businesses. Uh, with only a small size of the assets, they do more than half of the small business lending. So um, again, moving more funds into those types of institutions is great. Um, credit unions certainly have evolved over the years. Um, we started in the 30s in this country around people coming together because banks weren't lending to individuals. And um, I can tell you, your city, this city, and cities all over Oregon are certainly taking a look at credit unions as an option for, for uh, local deposits. Thank you very much. And I do have over 130 letters here that people wrote in support of. Oh, that's great. Would you mind giving that to the... Do we, do we get to keep those? You, these are for you. <laughs>